How you doing? Brian Howard here at BKH Credit Group and BKHCreditGroup.com. Happy New Year 2020 to you. Uh, this is the first video that I've done for 2020. I have not done a video on business credit in a while. I've uh, been busy with, you know, other projects, uh, you know, within the business. And, you know, just kind of so you know, in 2020, uh, you may kind of see a shift in terms of video topics. I'll be expanding more into, you know, other areas of business and not just talking about uh, business credit. Uh, you'll probably hear me talking a little bit more about uh, personal credit, uh, you know, business coaching and consulting in general, uh, marketing and growing your business, uh, because that's some of the things that I've kind of that I've that I've expanded to over the years. You know, I've been, you know, been doing business credit and uh, personal credit for, you know, for a while. And I've, I've expanded off into other arenas and I have, you know, people, you know, reaching out to me wanting uh, help on how to grow a YouTube channel, for example, like I've done or how to brand their business like I've been able to do and different things like that. So you may start to see some videos on some, you know, some other topics, not just about business credit, you know, and I think that's great. I think that's great for all of us, for those of you that subscribe and like and appreciate the content that I put out. But what I want to talk about in this video uh, is a change, right? So in 2019, we saw a lot of changes uh, in the world of business credit. A lot of them you may not be aware of because if you're not um, working in growing your business credit every day, then you just might not have found yourself in a position where you're able to find out about some of the changes that have been going on. So it's like one of them things that you have to be going through it to, to know about it and know what's going on. And because we work with so many businesses, whenever there are changes in the industry, you know, we're one of the first ones to know. And so that's actually the purpose of this video. I wanted to talk about the Wells Fargo Secure Business Credit Card. Now, as you know, I did a video on the Wells Fargo Secure Business Credit Card, which is one of the, which is only one of maybe two, possibly three secure business cards that I know that actually exist. And, you know, and I talked about how it was a great starter account because, you know, it reported to the business credit reporting agencies. Uh, it was a, a true legitimate, you know, business credit card, even though it was a security card and it required a deposit. Nonetheless, it was a business credit card, a business credit account that you could get, you know, with a $500 deposit and use and be on your way to establishing and building uh, a solid business credit. Uh, report and profile for your business. Well, it's unfortunate that I have to report that Wells Fargo uh, has decided to no longer report to the business credit agencies. Uh, this is actually a shock to me considering that Wells Fargo is a bank, one of the largest banks in the country, and it really takes little to no effort for a bank to be able to report to the business credit reporting agencies. So like if I wanted to report payments for my business um, to say the business record reporting agencies, I would have to go through all types of uh, hoops and hoopla and go through a stringent process in order to do that. Well, the banks, I mean, all banks are pretty much accepted. I mean, if you're a bank, you know, you can report to the business credit reporting agencies, you can report to the personal credit reporting agencies, and you know, it really doesn't cost you anything. There's really no extra legwork involved because that's what banks do. They report data to the business reporting agencies. So I'm just really shocked that Wells Fargo decided to no longer report the business, the, the secure business credit card to the business credit reporting agencies. I don't know why they did it. I don't know if this is a permanent thing or a temporary thing, but I just want to make sure I got that information out to you. And that's why, you know, when you come into you know, our coaching program or where we coach you and consult you on how to navigate through this process, you can be rest assured that you're getting the most up-to-date and relevant and prevalent information. And, and that's what we want to do uh, here at BK's Credit Group is we want to make sure that you're getting the best information possible. So again, uh, the Wells Fargo Secure Business Credit Card no longer reports. Um, so I, you know, I know that may come up. Doesn't mean that it's not a good card to have because it's still a credit card and, you know, you can track your business expenses, you know, easily. 
And who, you know, you, then you could develop a relationship with the bank, you know, with Wells Fargo. And who knows, you know, may, they may decide, you know, I don't know, next month, six months from now, a year or now to start reporting. I don't know. Um, obviously, you know, I'm not, I'm not up in Wells Fargo like that to where I'm privileged to that type of information. But bottom line is they're no longer, they're no longer reporting. Hopefully they'll start back reporting. Who knows? Uh, I still think it's a great account, a great account to have. Um, you know, as you're going through, you know, just for, you know, running and maintaining and monitoring the finances of your business, I think it's still a good account to have, you know, even though it's not reporting. So just want to let you guys know that. And then again, just to piggyback off of what I said earlier, you may start seeing some changes in, in terms of content that, you know, I'll be putting out on the channel. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to put a bigger emphasis on a little more emphasis rather on like some of your personal credit and how it relates to lending and building business credit because uh, believe it or not, I'm seeing a shift in the industry to where, you know, you can, you can do a lot without using your personal uh, credit. But if you kind of really want to get over the hump and get access to the really good lines of credit and business loans and different things like that, you may find yourself in a position where you might need to do a personal guarantee. And so you just want to make sure, that if that's the case that, you know, you're prepared to do so if it makes sense for your business. Okay. All right. So this is Brian Howard signing out for uh, BKS Credit Group. Happy New Year to you. And I uh, look forward to uh, dropping you guys some more content here in the very near future. Thank you.